This is Happy Happy Joy Joy with a video on layering vinyl. Today we're going to be making this flower in orange and then layering it underneath with a shadow image of white. I will be showing you how to use the vinyl and when you use vinyl you can cut all the way through it if you prefer or you can do what they call a kiss cut and that means it just cuts the vinyl but not the backing. Today we're going to do the kiss cut, cutting the vinyl and not the backing and that requires us to use a blade depth of six, a speed of three, and a pressure of three. This flower is located in the Accent Essentials Handbook and there's lots of goodies in here if you've never looked through it. There's some real funky designs. Um, there's some, a bunch of flowers. There's snowflakes, look there's a swirl. Really a lot of good stuff in here. Um, it's kind of like all the cartridges though there's good stuff in every single one of them. And sometimes you flip through that book and you say, I never even saw this before. So again, this happens here. Um, I've made this flower a lot of times and it's a lot of fun. So let's get started. This is accent 33. Each one of these rows is 10. So that makes it easy to count. 10, 20, 30, and then over to 33. And since we want the upper one, we go ahead and we hit shift first, and then we hit 33. And we make sure that worked right by looking at the screen. It did, good. And then we're gonna press, we're gonna make sure our blade's where it needs to be, just in case, and I'm gonna press cut. Now I'm cutting at two inches. Find that to be a nice size, for flowers especially. Now we're gonna cut our shadow layer. To do that, we're gonna hit Shift again because we want this one. Shift 33 shadow. That will now be larger than the one we just cut. And we hit cut again. Okay, I'm gonna unload my paper. And then I'm going to use transfer paper. And I think I'm gonna start with my shadow first to transfer it onto my surface. And um, you know, just for fun, let's choose black because we'll be able to see everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my white off. Now I have some transfer tape. You could use masking tape. You can get this transfer tape. There's a Cricut brand, there's a Silhouette brand. Um, I don't know if you wanna use contact paper, that's too sticky, but the purpose of this is to pick up the vinyl and then lay it down on the next surface. So I'm gonna pick up this white and I burnish it kind of with my fingernail, uh, the benefit of fake nails. And then I'm gonna lift, and it should, I'm gonna lift slowly, and it should come up with it. Oh, yay, that worked. You never know what's gonna happen with these things sometimes. Okay. Come on. There we go. So as you see, I have it on my transfer tape now. Okay, I have found a notebook to stick this onto. It's just, this black is inside the sleeve. So what I do is I go ahead and I lay my transfer tape with my image on it and I kind of burnish it again, again with the fake nails, but you could use really anything. Um, you could use um, a, a bone folder or anything else you have handy. It's really not that important. It's just important to press down firmly because when you go to lift up, you want it to come so you see how that was staying. The other thing is that's helpful, and this is true with rub-ons, is as you're lifting, kind of burnish. So see how I'm kind of still rubbing with my fingernail and lifting, but it's staying down. So that's a tip for tricky rub-ons too, that sometimes don't want to unstick themselves from the backing. That usually works well, and you can use that with the uh, popsicle stick usually that they give you. But again, fingernail works but you just kind of keep doing it. So, so that's our bottom layer, and now we're going to pick up our actual flower layer. So again, I peel off my transfer tape, looks just like sticky tape of any kind, but is a little more forgiving, and I'm gonna pick up my flower, and I rub real strong again, again with the burnishing, burnish, 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 real good. And then, come on, burnish on, burnish off. I'm telling you, it's quite the little process. 
but it works. So here we go. No, you stay. Just want the air we go. Sometimes you have to massage these things. All right, got it. So this is the second layer. And now I just lay this down here onto the first layer. Burnishing again. Oh, this one comes off like a dream. <laughs> I have no idea why, but yay! And there you go. So just as a review, I used a blade of six, a speed of three, and a pressure of three. And that gives a nice kiss cut. That means it did not, so you can see, did not cut through the backing of the vinyl. So that way it was a lot easier to lift it up with the transfer tape. So very glad about that because otherwise you'd be in trouble. And then the big thing is to burnish, burnish to get it on and burnish, burnish to get it off. But there's a layered um, final piece. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.